DailyMail.co.uk Vladimir Putin's Air Force puts on spectacular show of strength with attack helicopters and fighter jets in Crimean exercise. You understand? This this is all preparation for what's about to go down, man, for the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father. And the Lord is setting it up ultimately for it to be a judgment. Alright? He's the Lord of armies, man. Uh, there's one. There's another one uh, that I had here. You know, and it's going to lead to great destruction in Europe, loss of lives. A lot of Edomites are going to die in this thing. And the ones of you that remain, it ain't only over for you because you're going into slavery, man. Pursuing to Revelations 9, uh, uh, for, sorry, Revelations 13, 9 and 10. All right. This is um this article here that came out on Tuesday, May 31st. It says, we the undesigned are Russians living and working in the USA. We have been watching with increasing anxiety as the current US and NATO policies have set us on an extremely dangerous collision course with the Russian Federation as well as with China. And that's all biblical prophecy. We bring it out all the time. Ezekiel the 38th chapter, Joel the 2nd chapter, Joel the 3rd chapter, Isaiah the 13th chapter, Revelations 17, 18, Revelation. Um, the 20th chapter has got um, a little bit on it as well. World War 3. Okay, the scripture tells you quite plainly the second world is past and the third world cometh quickly. We're coming to that third world war and it's going to be for destruction. It's going to be for judgment. All right. And, and that course is set. Um, many respected patriotic Americans such as Paul Craig Roberts, Stephen Cohen, Philip Giraldi, Ray McGovern and many others have been issuing warnings of a looming third world war. Well, I'll go a step further. The prophets of the Heavenly Father have been issuing the warnings. But we ain't saying you could stop it because we know the prophecy. You ain't going to stop it. The Third World War is going to happen. And it's a judgment upon the armies of the world and also the people of the world for the controversy of Israel. But guess what? Even two-thirds of our people are going to get caught up in that. Okay? Because they don't want to return to the Heavenly Father. They don't want to kiss the Son. Alright? With, with Son, I'm talking about Yahweh Shai. The Son of the Heavenly Father. It says, but their voices have been all but lost among the din of a mass media that is full of deceptive and inaccurate stories that characterize the Russian economy as being in shambles and the Russian military as weak. And that's why the Bible says the day of the Lord is going to take the people as a thief in the night because the majority of people are not going to expect what is about to go down. Okay, because the media, the mass media are not warning them. So they don't think they got anything to worry about. Oh, that's why the Bible says again, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. So, all based on no evidence. But we we know in both Russian history and the current state of Russian society and the Russian military cannot swallow these lies. We now feel that it is our duty as Russians living in the US to warn the American people that they are being lied to and to tell them the truth. And the truth is simply this. If there is going to be a war with Russia, then the United States will most certainly be destroyed and most of us will end up dead. All right, which we know uh, the destruction that's going to come to America, which is Babylon the Great, is going to be in its perfection. There ain't going to be nobody left alive in America once the nuclear whipple, um, weapons are launched. Okay, let's get that in um, Isaiah, the 47th chapter. All right, it's going to be as Sodom and Gomorrah. There weren't no one left after that. All right. Okay, um, Isaiah 47. Um, and 10, it says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, they have perverted thee, and thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. And that's what's known as American um, exceptionalism. The spirit of American and Americans is that they cannot be defeated. They're the greatest. All right. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. What does it mean thou shalt not know? Because the average American is, is not going to be uh, aware of of World War Three until the missiles are falling upon their doorstep, their, their doorstep, or until a draft is is issued, man. Until that major announcement, they're not gonna know. 
Whereas if you if you was really checking out what's going on, you would know that we're in the midst of it already. They ain't gonna know till it's too late. Stand now with thine enchantments and with thine multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth. If so, be thou sh shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. Because America is nothing but a giant talisman for the new world order. It always has been. From the very beginning, it was nothing but witchcraft. A giant sacrifice for the new world order, man. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as stubble. That's what them nuclear missiles from Russia and China and even from their allies in Europe. Because in the end of the war, the allies in Europe are going to turn upon America, man. All right. And even from the Lord himself in the chariots. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before. They shall, they, thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast laboured, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. So there's no salvation for America. It's going to be completely destroyed, man. The scripture says the Lord's going to draw out the line of confusion. There's not going to be no more landmarks. There's not going to be nothing but, but a desert, but, but desolation. Okay? But the point is that America is going to be completely destroyed, but great destruction is going to fall upon the rest of the world as well, including Europe. Okay, and a lot of you Edomites, you're going to be dead. And the ones that you that are left alive that remain, you're going to go into slavery, man. All right. So this thing is heating up. You know, I'll, I'll try and post the, the article. There's a lot of good information in there. You know what I'm saying? And um, you got to keep your eyes open, man, and believe in the Lord, and you shall be saved from such things. All right? Shalom.